keep coming back because it's a really good conference and to meet people that you know since before, but also to meet new people working in the, in the different kind of fields of bio channels and moderators of them. It's a great meeting because it's quite unique actually. There's a whole mix of different participants. You've got absolute expert academics on particular targets. You've got platform experts and then, you know, drug discovery scientists from pharma. It's a really great mixture of different people and you know, it means there's an opportunity to exchange ideas that you wouldn't think of before. The main reason that I come here every year is the sense of community among the Ion Channel scientists. So it's great to come along and catch up with people that I've known sometimes for 20 years, as well as making new contacts uh, in the Ion Channel field. Also importantly is the quality of the science and the talks that I'm hearing about this morning. The science is great. I've got to know all the people uh, from Sofion. And so it's a great way to learn about new science because it's got a, people from industry, people from academia, and also uh, make connections, collaborations. It's in a great environment, the venue's great. It's in the summer. There's many reasons why I come. The program and the talks have been absolutely fantastic. It's such a thread of topics and who doesn't love Iron Channels? I like the format of the talks. Very often they, they, they're, they're sort of reviews of the target areas, so it gives everybody some context. It's an excellent program every year, uh, and this year is no exception. We've had four or five talks this morning. They've all been really interesting in terms of the, the basic science that we're looking at, as well as applications to drug discovery. The program this year, I think it's a very good combination, also different talks that it covers different types of IO channels and different types of modifi modificators and also from different levels, from like more basic sciences and to really advanced uh, parts as well. You always meet new people. Today I had the chance to present and already the next coffee break I had new contacts that could really solve some of our problems. Uh, so immediately we could really gain from it. For a CRO the expectation is their target knowledge has to be top notch. So this is a great opportunity to further increase your Iron Channel knowledge. But also there's an opportunity to talk to all sorts of different companies, different academics, make new connections and, you know, potentially new business. The reason why I choose these sorts of conferences is because uh, they just give you the opportunity to really interact with your fellow scientists from academic and industry backgrounds and you just have the opportunity to build relations and to build new ideas and collaborate and it's just invaluable to do that. The people at the conference have been fantastic. I love meeting everybody and I love being able to see everybody in person once again. It's been too long. I mean, it's, it's important to keep up to date with the latest developments in the field. So partly you can do that through reading the literature, but in my opinion, there's no substitute for getting face-to-face -face time with scientists who are actually doing the work. That's how ideas are generated and that's how they get matured over time. So I think the face-to-face, -face, there's no substitute for that. For us, this is very important to get contact from both sides, sides uh, so both from the academia and also with con to get to know people that are working in the companies as well. Uh, I'd love to come back next year, but it's, it's always tough. There's always a huge amount of interest in this meeting. But yeah, definitely, I'd love to be here.